listen to the magical story of Zinedine Zidane. When a new star emerges in football, many experts, commentators, and football fans start comparing the new star's playing style with their beloved and legendary football players. For instance, Messi has always been compared to Maradona, Ronaldo Nazario to Pele, Neymar to Ronaldinho, and Cristiano Ronaldo and also Mbappe to Ronaldo Nazario. But when Zidane burst onto the football scene, football fans and folks were left in shock. You know, his playing style was so unique and left everyone scratching their heads and trying to find comparison, but they couldn't. Zidane brought something entirely new to the game, a style that was entirely was his own. It was like he painted a fresh picture on the football canvas and leaving everyone captivated by his skills and originality. A playing style that in its cold-blooded calmness wielded a captivating magic, waving an epic tale on the canvas of the pitch, fueled by breathtaking ball control, spellbinding dribbles, unparalleled playmaking prowess, and of course, the artistry of scoring superlative goals. This style became an irresistible spectacle. Each move was a masterpiece, a captivating symphony that left spectators enthralled and making every match a theater of unparalleled allure and intrigue. Zidane, a rare gem in football, possessed the exceptional talent of seamlessly maneuvering with both feet. His amazing skills allowed him to dribble and pass opponents easily, deliver precise assists, and unleash powerful shots from a distance, showcasing a unique dual-footed brilliance that's rarely seen on the football history. Roberto Carlos once said that Zidane plays with such a calmness and ease, and it seems like he's playing with school kids. David Beckham remarked, if we encountered a challenge during the game, all we had to do was pass the ball to Zidane, stay composed, and await the magic he effortlessly conjured. Also, the phenomenon Ronaldo Nazario always says, Zidane was the best player I've ever played alongside. The legendary Pele once said, Zidane is the master. Over the past 20 years, there's been no one like him. He's been the best player in the world. And many players have spoken about him and the magic he brings to the game. And I'm going to include some of these quotes in the description. Zizou always stands as a symbol of true leader. Whether in the 1998 FIFA World Cup, Euro 2000, or when he engraved his name in the mines with one of the most beautiful goals in the UEFA Champions League's history against Bayer Leverkusen. Okay, so let's rewind to the beginning of his journey. The legendary Zidane left his family when he was just 14 years old to pursue his dreams. His family had migrated from Algeria to France 19 years before Zidane's birth. Zidane began his career playing for the Cannes team, where he demonstrated his exceptional skills not only in football but also in defending his principles. In a notable incident, he punched a teammate face who had insulted his family. As a punishment, Zidane accepted the responsibility of washing the entire team's shirt for a week. But he showed that the family is his red line. He then transferred to the Bodo team and with an outstanding display in 1996, he made a significant move to join the best league in Europe at the time. Zidane became part of Turin's old lady Juventus. The first month at Juventus was really challenging for him, as nobody trusted him and players were reluctant 
to engage with him on the field. However, with the support of Michel Platini, the team decided to place their trust in him, and he responded very well. He triumphed in Serie A twice and also runner-up in the UEFA Champions League with Juventus for two consecutive years. And his unique magic made him as one of the club's all-time legends. Zidane's enchanting influence extended to the French national team, despite a red card in the opening match of the 1998 FIFA World Cup, where he smashed Saudi Arabian players on purpose, he suspended for two games, but France demonstrated resilience. Through remarkable plays, they advanced to the knockout stage, and with sheer brilliance, they reached the final. Although Zidane hadn't scored throughout the entire tournament, but in the final match, while Ronaldo Nazario observed without making a significant impact, Zidane scored two goals and led France to the triumph over the powerful Brazil. Yet, Ronaldo Nazario revealed the reason why he couldn't play well in that final and I will disclose the details in the upcoming video exploring Ronaldo Fenomeno's remarkable rise and magical story. With this victory, Zidane etched his name in history, achieving something unparalleled that no other prominent players had done before. He guided France to secure their first FIFA World Cup trophy, and this triumph earned him the Ballon d'Or. Zizou's successes, marked by his astonishing performance, continued with the France national team. In the UEFA Euro Championship, Zizou led the team to victory against all opponents. In the final, a golden goal from David Trezeguet, along with Zidane's remarkable contributions, helped France beat Italy and securing the championship in Euro 2000 after 16 years. However, due to the infamous headbutt incident, he lost the Ballon d'Or competition to Luis Figo, which is considered as one of the biggest robbery in Ballon d'Or's history. And I have created a video from the most controversial Ballon d'Or award since 2000. You can watch it after this video on the description. All of these amazing plays and the beauty of his football led Florentino Perez to consider him as a fundamental pillar for his Galactico project by shattering transfer record with a whooping 77 million euros. Florentino Perez brought Zidane to Real Madrid, a controversial transfer that many believed that Zidane wasn't worth it. However, in the UEFA Champions League final, Zidane silenced the skeptics with a breathtaking goal and demonstrating that he was indeed worth more than the doubt surrounding his transfer. With the addition of Luis Figo, David Beckham, Ronaldo, and presence of the other players like Raul, Carlos, Guti, and Casillas, Real Madrid seemed unstoppable during those years. However, the situation didn't go well for Real Madrid. Real Madrid only managed to win La Liga in 2003, but despite this, football lovers during those years were witness to the attractive and amazing artistry of great football players. In the 2002 FIFA World Cup, Zidane was injured and couldn't play in the first two games. His absence during the crucial period led to France being eliminated sooner than everyone had expected. Euro 2004 started very well for France and Zidane as they secured the first place in the group stage, but they faced an unexpected defeat to Greece, which ultimately went on to win the Euro Championship at the end of the tournament and made history. After losing in the Euro, Zidane announced his retirement from national football when he was just 32 years old. However, due to lack of players in the France team, he came back to the squad once again and he led France to the Germany FIFA World Cup single-handedly. And after eliminating many powerful teams like the amazing and powerful Brazil, which boasted players like Kaká, Ronaldo, Ronaldinho, Carlos and many other great players, 
who fell under Zidane's magic. However, the final game against Italy was truly controversial. It takes true courage to attempt a penalty like Panenka's shot, especially in the FIFA World Cup final and against one of the best goalkeepers ever. Yet, he seized the moment and executed it flawlessly. Everything was going well until Marco Materazzi injected his poison into the French team's heart. Many people initially didn't know what exactly happened between Zidane and Materazzi. Zidane's headbutt became his last image of his football career, resulting a red card and he had to leave the pitch. Ultimately, France lost to Italy in penalty shootout. At first, people start to blame Zidane, but as they understand what Materazzi said to Zidane and he insulted Zidane's sister, everyone forgave Zidane. And even they have built a statue for Zidane's headbutt because Zidane was very precious for France people. The impact that Zidane left on French football was undeniable. Before Zidane, France had only won a Euro during Platini's time. And afterward, they weren't considered serious contenders. But after 1998, they appeared four times in the FIFA World Cup final and also the Euro Championship final. And they established themselves as formidable contenders. Now, after retirement, which was truly heartbreaking, Zidane has demonstrated his football genius and shining equally bright in the coaching field. And if you are interested, I would be happy to create a video about it. Well, enjoy watching this video about the epic rivalry between Ronaldo and Messi and marking the end of their era.